guys, it's Wolf, and today we're back again. Now, Agnes is she men menace of them all. Her cardinal says gluttony. So we'll get, get her killed. Find a way to make her suffer. Two ball. Oh, I'm not raining this. Get off the bike. <laughs> I'm terrible at raining stuff. Okay, so. Can I see like a note here and a key and a cock anywhere? Lucius, I told you. This stuff is not for children. to know that I have in this place. I found them enough toys. Oh, I thought I okay, but it was his own position. Add piano effects. But a tool. There's nothing you can do about a tool of that pedal. Two inch bolt, three inch bolt. now. Where's everybody? Oh, you have to no, I think this one's poison lady. Greed is poison. Hello. I think I'm in love. You know, your uncle sure is something special. Ugh. Ah, after all we've been through, 
Isn't it nice to just relax and listen to some great music? Sorry, boy. I can't hang out with you today. Agnes was really adamant that I change these tires pronto. Hey, Lucius, can you hear this? It's one of my favorites. Me and Jed are gonna check them out tomorrow night. It's I think awesome. I'm in love. You know, your uncle sure is something special. I think I'm in love. Oh, mama. Be a good boy, Lucius, and see if Alistair needs help. I found Mama. Agnes told me to get rid of these bloody rats before Thanksgiving. I'd like to see her getting up off her fat arse and try it. Half a mo, Lucius. I'm in the middle of something. Okay, let's do something and see if we get season tension. Oh my! Don't worry. I'll clean that up in a moment. Oh my! Don't worry. I'll clean that up in a moment. Oh my! Don't worry. I'll clean that up in a moment. Oh my! Don't worry. I'll clean that up in a moment. Oh my! Don't worry. I'll clean that up in a moment. I want you to clean it now. Um, how do we distract him? Butler. Um, let's see. What will get him off his foot off? That poison, I can't take it now because they would know it was me. And it'd come up when everyone else is sleeping. What? No, I got poison. Like tablets. I've got some sort of deadly poison bottle. Try that. Yeah. So I may have to go back to my room. No, we can't use bottles here. So I gotta go to bed. Where's Papa? Never seen Papa for yanks. Clean up, bring her food, go do everything at the same time. Now I know why Mary was always so flustered. God rest her soul. Oh, there you go. You went to sleep so you can wake him up in the middle of the night. God damn it. I woke up in the middle of the night. I must be careful no one else sees me away. 
or they will march me back to bed. God damn it, you bitch! Go back to your bed right now. She caught me. God damn it! I didn't know the door was locked. <laughs> she ain't me, ma'am. She's delicious, Bob. Got a feeling we're gonna kill her anyway. <laughs> Is it night time? Yeah. Okay, she's out of bed now. You should be in bed. Let's go find your. God damn it! Arrgh, I can't wait to kill you all of you. Got seen by the FBI agent. No, he's agent, not a police officer. Uh. I don't. <laughs>
Yeah, they're like trying to turn that light off. So right here. Someone there. Got it. Is that a bad stealth mode? <laughs> With the rat poison, I will let her know what happened if we, if you break one of those cardinals, and father will be pleased. Mama, hello, good morning. You have been such a good boy lately. We need to reward you somehow. Be a good boy, Lucius, and see if Alistair needs help. Find a ring. Oh, Mama, what did you put your earring? Now I gotta figure out where my crazy mother put her earrings. Hey, I'm working here. This is not for children. Okay, oh god, I won't make my way in there. Mama, what are you put your earrings? Hmm? Everyone? If it helps me to quit quicker, then yeah. Okay, so the last chores I got to do is find my ma theory. Mama! <laughs> I can see your phone is ringing. So like, why will it be in no one else's room but parents? Get rid of these. No. She was walking around, so I wonder if she.
Oop. Here's your food, woman. Die. Dead. Ah. Fun and earring. You gain an ear ability mind control. Ooh. My boy reported ten PM. At Thomas Point Light, the hour temperature was sixty degrees. This is a clear case of poisoning. And I need to interview everyone in the house again. Who prepares the food around here now? Mm -hmm. I think it was Jovita. But I can't imagine she would be capable of something like this. Oh my god! Why is this happening? It's for me to decide who is capable of what, Mr. Wagner. Would you consider vacating the house for a couple weeks until things calm down? We can't possibly do that, Mr. McGuffin. This is our home. We want to set things right. The autopsy showed that she was poisoned. After questioning everyone in the house, it seemed nearly all of them had some reason to dislike her. Javita, the Latina maid, was the one who brought food to her. But this wasn't enough to press charges. I had no evidence of tampering. Christmas was just around the corner, and I got an invite from Mr. Wagner to join them for dinner. I had my doubts about sharing a table with a possible murderer, but I had to know more. But before I had any chance to snoop around, something else happened. No witnesses, no evidence. Something that can happen only on some very specific circumstances. Right weather, right spot, and the right time. Oh no, Papa is having this again. What do you want now, Papa? I was trying to sleep. I got new powers. Am I you proud of me now, Papa? Ah, my boy, such prodigious results. I am thoroughly impressed with you. Listen, I have something else to teach you. You have the ability deep inside you. To look into people's minds and tell them what to do. Let's unlock this ability together. Now, follow my instructions. Oh, very good. That's my boy. Continue your journey, Lucius. With your new skills, you should avoid detection and reap more souls for me. To hit my next victim. December the 24th, 1972. Holiday day slip. Or slip. You can read that up. <laughs> I know we've had our difficulties this year, but don't let that ruin our Christmas. As a family, we have each other. We should remember our friends and our faithful employees we have lost. <laughs> I'm not sure how you expect to win another term in the Senate with speeches like that. Dad. Alistair, could you bring another bottle of Burgundy, please? And on your way, could you turn on the Christmas lights? Certainly, sir. Mm. 
No, we have awoken. Alistair, no! Oh, we've got to get rid of Alistair now. So we've got to find the find earrings. So this is the bedroom. And you sit underneath the stairs. What leads to the balcony? Yeah. The stairs. Yeah. I mean the, the stairs. Bell. Okay, son. There's nothing to be afraid of. The garden's here. Yeah. You know that this. You know that seven, half seven bit? Yeah. That's the balcony. Are you all right, son? I mean, here. Room. No, it is. Mama, um, she'll be in the dining room, won't she? Mama! Come on, everyone. It's Christmas. Let's eat and try to enjoy it. Alright, we've done all of them. I can't believe Agnes is What's gone. What's taking Alistair so long? He should be here with us. I think the lady of the house is losing it. Hello, Lucius. Mm. This show is good. Hello, my boy. Hello, darling. Todo bien? I've done most of them. If you play outside, be careful. The grounds can be very slippery. Okay, we'll get wood from this. Alright, oh, let's find out. Need to find a bathroom sink. Right, Lucius. How's my best mate today? Um, how do I get him? Perfect. 
Yeah. I did. Hmm. Oh, there you go. What happened to the lights? I don't know what did happen. Gives me an idea we should be carefully careful it gets it after the winter. We'll have cold carry water and don't really be suspicious. Okay. There he is. My tree. <laughs> to die It's like what are you doing with child? It's just me. I just gonna try to kill you. so much if I like hmm. there you go. Mr. Wagner, this is Wayne Preston from the Herald. I wonder if I could ask you some questions about the recent deaths at Dante Manor. This is a private line. How did you get this number? Five deaths within a few months is quite a sensational story, Mr. Wagner. The public needs to know. Winter Hill Police Department. This is Senator Charles Wagner. Please put me through to Detective McGuffin. The press are closing in on this, Mr. McGuffin. I have an election coming up, and I can't let this get out of control. I sympathize with you, Mr. Wagner. These journalist types are like vultures around every sad case I get. They just love tragedies. But what can we do? It's a free country. I need to keep this out of the papers, Mr. McGuffin. We've had a run of bad luck. It's as simple as that. The stakes are high, and I'm under a lot of pressure to clear this up. The pressure is on both of us. Your mess is making the precinct look like a joke, and my superiors are not going to take it lightly. Yeah, well, you won't know the half of it unless you get this wrapped up. Is that a threat, Mr. Wagner? That's not something you want to find out. A couple of phone calls can do wonders. Threatening the police. Detective McGuffin. A word with you, please. How did you get in here? You're working the case here at the Wagner Estate. I'd like to ask a few questions about the series of unusual deaths that have occurred over the last few months. Now listen to me. You leave those people alone. They've had some bad luck is all. They're nice people, and they need space to get over their losses, okay? And if I find you anywhere near this house again, I'll run you in. You got it? Now that this thing back first, did it? I was really almost ready to bring in the Latina maid. I was planning on searching her room, hoping to find a bottle of rat poison or a padlock. But suddenly, it was too late. Seems that Tom Wagner, brother of Charles, had an affair with two of the maids. I guess one of them found out and wasn't happy about it. Can't really figure out what they saw in that guy. I mean, he was mooching from his brother and doing God knows what in his dirty little film room. When we searched that room, it was a sick pervert's nest. I mean, they had a kid in that house. Little did I know about this kid. Yeah, I don't realize. There's a kid in the house. Put that out. The face 
marital affair. Make a good s s scope gate. I know there's something going to be um, between her and Uncle Tom. Have you seen your tío, your, your Uncle Tom? If you see him, can you let him know that I need to talk to him? I hate it to find out it was Uncle Tom, eh? Oh, what's this? Looks like I can't really do anything here because it's defeat her time. Um, it's defeat her. No. I got, I got to kill defeat her. I'm trying to find out where Grandpa put his camera. the grandpa sleeps. So this is my parents' home, a film in the bathroom. After all we've been through, isn't it nice to just relax and listen to some great music? No. Uh, might be hidden away, right? No. No. See, that's not so safe. Nineteen. Hey, son, I 
I know I've promised to spend time with you, but I really can't right now. I took it actually! <laughs> I took your gun! What's say, what kind of this murder everyone? Grandpa. Hello there, boy. Everything seems to be going well. I know what's going on here. I know. Oh. I've seen the signs. Okay, got it. And that's not all. Have you seen these drawings he made? This is really starting to concern me. Ah, Lucius, I'm just having a chat with your mother. It's just a little grown-up talk. Morning, son. You need to be careful not to bother your Uncle Tom. He says that you really have been bothering him. You know how he likes his privacy. Grown-ups are talking now. What's that you don't have to go show for in detail? You are. Yeah, it's just saying it. Hear the noise from here. <laughs> Good. Mm. <laughs> Are you all right, son? Oh my god! <laughs> so I'm just that could be some house so this card didn't go on for a while, have a time to do. Wait, shh. Did you hear something? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Now which one's her room? Hmm. This is where I took the picture. Left is right. Here. Any evidence you've got of people? 
see. Okay. Okay, um... Your uncle yet? She just walked in the room. Oh my god! How can he do this to me? He has been pictured in one kind's balcony. Why? Oh why? Okay, I got the panda rat poison. Is that it? to the balcony, I don't know where that was. Oh, why? Oh, why? he would be doing that it's it's because um he thinks he's mooching off his brother so that's the fuck though fuck it's his technically his brother for he's been cheating he's womanized I feel It seems we've found an obvious culprit in Miss Javita Munez. The missing padlock from the cooler, the rat poison. It almost seems too convenient. Why are you telling me this? It's not like we were close or anything. Well, we have a motive too. Pictures of you and Susan Myers and how should we put it delicately, flagrante delicto. It seems your involvements with the staff are a little too tangled. What? I knew nothing about this! You mean she did all this because I had a fling with Susan? Oh my god! What have I done? Tom hasn't done anything. His indiscretions may have led to this, but he would never have put them up to it. There's no reason for it. <sighs> Look, this whole thing is a freaking mess, and I'm trying to put a cap on it. So both of you listen good. Javita was stealing from the house. She poisoned Agnes because she was onto her. We'll ignore all the uh, indiscretions in the report for the sake of your family. Whatever it takes, Detective. We want to put this all behind us. I'll straighten Tom out, but I don't think I'll be able to save my campaign at this point. The press will have a field day. Well, there's nothing I can do about that, Mr. Wagner. But they won't get a story from me. I'm just trying to make a living. We'd finally managed to close the case, or so I thought. Seems like she had been behind every death so far in the house, except the butler. It kept bothering me. Could that really be an accident? Every path we took on the case left me uneasy. Then, right on time, a month later, it happened again. It looked like another suicide. It might have been me who pushed him over the edge. I we're going to kill Uncle Thomas Ty. I am ashamed. Yeah, it's hard to find the rooms. I just go round and round in a circle like, Where are you? January the 23rd, 1973. Mine can't take... Uh, Blurry nest. I wonder... The current time is 10.40 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. 
Welcome time. <laughs> I found a bottle in his room. I was exploring. I found it. He's been drinking for a moment now. It seems like he actually had feelings towards Rita. But remind me, when I picked up the camera, I saw a map on the table. I have found a chamber. It must be something useful there. Here, there. I have added some poison I found in the chamber to Tom's whiskey bottle. Now I've got to find his room. Found you! Understand? Why did she do it? <laughs> I played the poison button and Tom. He didn't notice anything. this you little shit you did it all you kiss my feet as we stand upon his body like we did that <laughs> i thought i thought people would have realized he did it Because, like, Tom? She does it's me, things. Charles. Please open the door. It's dark in here. Oh, shit, no. Not this, no. Not this, no. Ah, oh, bye bye. Mr. Wagner, I'm at a loss for words. You came to your own conclusions, Detective. Our family is suffering a great shame now. I have little hope after this. I want you and your men out of this house by nightfall. There's nothing more for you here. We'll take care of our own problems from now on. Again, I'm really sorry for your loss. I'll say a prayer for you and your family, Mr. Wagner. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been, oh, I don't know, a long time since my last confession. There's a family. Their home has befallen by calamities. I can't explain. I've been trying to help, but I may have involved myself too far. I, I've been having nightmares, terrible scenes playing through my head, and this family, they are the players. It sounds to me like this family needs help, my son. It sounds to me like the church should intervene. Mm, really? Oh, God, say, Papa! We can never forget that sleep if you keep waking me up. What do you want now, you demon bastard? What do you want now, Papa? I'm Hello, trying to sleep. No. You are doing well. What do I want now, Papa? But I do tire of these menial offerings. Maids, butlers, accountants, drunks. Don't you think it's time to up the stakes? Maybe make this a little more personal. 
There are some sneaky snakes in your fold, Lucius. You need to weed them out of the grass. Let me show you something else you can do to help on your journey. You have the ability to make people forget things. This can be very useful. What skill and promise you display? The higher the stakes, my son, the more power can be derived from the sacrifice. Look closer to your foe, Lucius. Do me proud. You can, Papa. Stop summoning me. Me want to sleep. Oh. <laughs> March 20th. Grass is always red. Or... Oh, so it's probably a god and I'm killing. Ah, when morning came, I had not much sleep. No wonder he looks bloody tired. Mama! Lucius, can I ask you a question? Oh, never mind. I'm just being foolish. Aww. I'm your son, Mama. Okay, we don't know who our next target is. So let's go on. Papa's a gardener. I have him still up. Not everyone. Please don't run me over. Move away, Lucius. I'm telling you all, it's cut in the grass again. Why somehow break his mold? I wonder if he always looked like he came from the sky. Um, what stone? I just dropped it. Son of a... Where did this rock come from? I bet I can fix this. Okay. Ah, oh, Dios mio, what happened? Um, I'm telling you, it wasn't enough. He managed to get away from the blade. Um, how am I meant to? Four to my oh no. Here we go. Tell the day, I told you. Don't mind me. Bow down to Satan. God. I'll take a picture of that. 
Oh my god. That's gruesome. I went weeks without a proper night's sleep. I just couldn't wrap my head around everything as if something was evading me. I resorted to the church for help. My hope was that they could visit the house and maybe help some of the people there, offer counsel, whatever it is priests do. I was wrong. Predictably, there was another accident, this time in the garden. One of the most bizarre things I had ever seen. I had no solid explanations, and the press were hounding the department for information. Those vultures were constantly circling the mansion. Everything in my world was falling apart. I was interviewing Charles Wagner on a daily basis now. He tried to tell me this was in a totally different realm. His father, Fabius, who I thought was a little batty, had gone missing by this stage. Everyone presumed he just took off to escape the stress. So next, I think it's our grandfather. What's really going on, Dad? Have we been cursed? Do we have enemies? Are we being extorted? Or is this some sort of vendetta? Don't talk such rubbish, Charles. You're grabbing at straws. I know enough about your past mob ties. I know how we got our money. You don't know shit. And don't ask. Just be thankful for what I've given you. Have you no feelings, Dad? Why didn't you come to Tom's funeral? He didn't care for his own children. He was a wastrel, and he died a wastrel's death. He was no son of mine. That's cold by any stretch. You're a heartless, bitter old man. Who's given you everything you could have ever possibly wanted, and now it's time for payback. There are events afoot which are far beyond anything you would understand. I'm going to lose this election. Did My you, world I, I is falling so apart. Like, Lucius won't just... speak. Nancy is losing her mind. And you're crazy, too! We're all just pawns in the larger scheme of things. These people, they're just fodder for death's eventual scythe. You only need to play your role, Charles, and be a good boy. There are rewards for those who endure to the end. Well, it's slowly, um, he cares for his family, that's sure. But he also cares for his election. So he only snapped because his brother died, and then his wife wants to lose her mind. And it's very upset with him. Then when he found out he's not speaking, he became more worried, but it's also affecting his son. We have one maid left. Good afternoon, miss. I'm Father well, Lagel of the Winter Hill Diocese, large. and this is Father De Cosimo. We've heard of the unfortunate tribulations oh, that have befallen this house, and we've come to offer a blessing for better days for this place. Would the master or mistress Who be home? Who is that? What? Get the hell out of my house, bloody parasites! Take your skirts back to the poor mix in town. They'll swallow your Jesus crap. But get off my lawn, or I'll give you a reason to pray for your Easter bunnies. Peddling their tribe here on my property. Make sure they're let out those gates. Yeah, the demon spoke to the priest. He went, Of course you got bloody perhaps that's trying to break into the property. Trying to open all the windows. Yep, but the perhaps don't care. They still don't care, as long as they got what they want, that's it. They don't care if they're making other people suffer for it. So many die because of them. Now, like, oh, we're doing it for the people. Yes, but you're causing, you know, bad influence for other people. And plus, they always put up lies as well. You never know what the truth is with them.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Ah. Ah! You surprised me. I'm Wayne Preston from the Herald. I'd like a word with you about recent events here at Dante Manor. I'm willing to pay handsomely for information. Don't you know who I am? Oh, Mr. Wagner, I'm so sorry. I tried the doorbell, but there was no answer. It looked like it would rain, so I simply... You're trespassing. I could have you shot. Hey, wait now! He deserves it. That's the thing, you bring it to someone's property, don't expect they will probably have a big shotgun or something at your head. No, they'll probably kill you. Oh, for God's sake, Father, stop summoning me here. Ah, Lucius. What wonderfully gruesome offerings you have given to me. Now we must go on the march. We must continue with no looking back. There are those sniffing about, Lucius. They suspect. You must be on your guard. But now, it is time to teach you the greater skills, so that you can protect yourself if the need arises. Do you like to light fires, Lucius? Yes, Papa. Your daddy tells you not to play with matches, but I can show you a better way. <gasps> oh, that's very good. <laughs> what talent! Now listen to me. Did you see that? Okay. This skill can only be used sometimes, and in the most extreme situations. Each time you make a sacrifice, you can attain this skill, but only for a short time, until the power dissipates. April the 1st, 97 feet, betrayal. Oh, with no. Come on, my boy. It's time we talked. You so, you've been exploring, and you found the chamber. Well done, Lucius. Get your clothes on and meet me down there. Don't let anyone see you on the way. I noticed that not everyone is sleeping yet. Uh, why do I just need past people? I don't like this. So... Fabian, so he's my next. But my grandfather woke me up. He told me to meet him in the chamber. It seems that everyone is still away. I need to find a way to get past everyone undetected. Darkness is my friend. Hello, darkness, my dear friend. Um, I think this one's a bit of So it'll be number five. You're kidding, I've got to go from the parents' room. Nope.
stairs. How am I meant to fucking get in? I don't know if I can get through. I'm holding space. Come on, my boy. It's time we talked. Oh, fuck off, Grandpa. So, you've been exploring and you found the chamber. Well done, Lucius. Press and hold space to skip. Huh? Get your clothes on and meet me down there. Don't let anyone see you on the way. Oh, there you go. I noticed that not everyone is sleeping yet. Alex. I didn't well. Just, don't worry. It's just a shortage. Let's get you to bed. Where's it meant to go? Yeah, I'm trying to get there, it was not let me.
basement. Um, one cellar. Oh, I just went past that. Hey Lucius, don't worry. No! <laughs> I got caught! No! Go down, Lucius. All because I went the wrong way. I'm doing so well. Did it again. It's always you. Hey, Lucius. Don't it's just a shortage. Let's get you to bed. Thank God. So, you've been led here. you found the chamber. Well done, Lucius. My two dumbass kids played down in these cellars for years and never suspected a thing. I had this chamber built with a mansion, you know, back in the day. This is where it all happens, Lucius. This is the heart of Dante Manor. All sorts of things have happened here. I have entertained guests of the highest stature. Now is the time for you to discover your destiny. You have a calling, Lucius. I have been expecting you for much longer than you can imagine. My sons have been a disappointment to me. But it is you I have been waiting for. You will show us all the way. But you've been reckless in your learning, Lucius. Jeopardized everything. You've brought too much attention on us, and now we have to deal with it. You can't risk discovery. Don't worry. After we dispose of him the right way, you will become much stronger. This is a holy place where the blood will work for us. Well, mainly for you. That's you, isn't it, my boy? Why don't you talk? Are you the prophecy? The master said he'll take his due from my bloodline. I'm sure you are what he meant. Get this table ready for the ritual while I find the correct scripture. Oh. 
Oh, they're getting open. How do we tie them up? Okay, and do I have to find strings? Ah. Okay, then you've got the Y. Huh? Oh, I got. I do have the matches. <laughs> I'll get these. Play it first. I'm playing with Grandpa. <laughs> Matches. Okay, Fabius. My girl told me that he was behind the pack off with Lucifer, my real father. He wants me to set up a sacrifice table. He blamed me for the report, but I get the table ready. Another cuss is broken. It would not hold blood. I need to fix it. Did I leave my glue inside the desk in the East Wing classroom? You're kidding me! Oh. Really? Where is the classroom? That must be it. Yeah. No, it's library. We're we in the basement. So it's probably in Vayos as well. Yeah, no? Oh, we're in the parents' room. Mmm. Ah, uh, the classroom is above here, so it's the top of the library area. Ah, oh, go papa. Yes you are, a big ear. I don't know how many hours I've been on right now. I've killed a butler. On, oh, I don't know. I've killed this one. I've killed Agnes, Alistair, Devita, Tom, Antonio, and I'm doing Phoebus. So I've killed one, two, three, four, five. I've killed five people in this recording. Yes. Yeah. Well, show we ended here. <laughs> so till next time, everyone. We will. Okay, Grandpa. Goodbye. <laughs>